Hello everyone, how's it going? Today, wanted to check out some more of Iron Wrath 444. I feel like that's always t timed right with right with this. What Doomsday Yoga? This guy. Uh, I checked out some more of his stuff on a on another live stream. Was that on the YouTube? Yeah, that was that was another YouTube one. And it's it's just keeps getting better. So I want to check out more of the the a hole cooking show, if that's all right with you. <laughs> let's let's see what we can get into here. Uh, there's just so much, so much. We I'd like to start with one of the things that we left off on: uh, garlic and eggs with ham, onions, and cheese. I that was, I'm really looking forward to this one. I think. I think this would be a, a nice big start here for us. The thumbnail really drags you in because you can see cloves of garlic in this pile of whatever. So uh, let's go ahead and check out garlic and eggs with ham, onions, and cheese. Hey, what's up, yins, guys? It's you know it's gonna be you know it's gonna be something wild when uh, the first word is garlic. Show, the show, it's the show, the show, it's the show. It's the show. It's the show. Another episode of the asshole cooking show. It's the show. No garlic's allowed. No, no vampires allowed. True. And though. today we're gonna make. Okay, today we're gonna make. I'm um, seeing olive oil, garlic. Oh, this we. What is this? Some some preserved garlic. Some uh, in like a garlic brine. And eggs. I gotta use this other thing. And some and butter. Stick of butter. Eggs. Hello, Joey. I got this pan I used already because I made my partner ham and egg sandwiches and I was planning to do this separately for myself so uh, he said what well, he just said he made his partner a sandwich I'm assuming it was a normal sandwich nothing crazy going on um, or something like that he said uh, and so he's just, he's gonna take 20 minutes here to explain so, uh, the ingredients I'm sure I don't know. Here's what we're going to do. I don't think I've ever bought pickled garlic before. I'm sure I've had it in something before. Maybe some kind of like a, some type of salad. The last time I made the uh, garlic, potatoes, and onion stew there. But we're going to do things differently here. I got this little Strain. strainer. You can get these in different sizes. What are we straining? And then you use one of these. What of the listed ingredients so far is getting strained? Because you always got to ham. not to strain yourself. And uh, this, I mean, like I said, you can, if you want, you can drink it, but... One could, I suppose. One could drink the garlic brine. But a sweet vinegary taste. Dr. Worm, but thank we you. we don't want all this in here when we're... So we're going to just just go like that What if you just get all the juice out of there. What if you just okay. plucked it out? Good enough. Oh, clear your this, we there. just get back in there. Oh, so oh, next, next you're just prepping the whole jar to I'm not gonna make no it. longer uh, Let's go to waste. Hey, sometimes be cured. Way later, you know, I mean. Uh, I think it would last longer if you kept the brine in there. Good but for the teeth and good for everything else. Uh, something tells me he's going to use up the jar pretty quick anyway. There's a little vinegar in it. Clean your mouth out. Good for your teeth. So why waste it? But yeah, I'm not going to use it in this. Great for, great for cleaning your mouth. Just garlic juice. I'm going to do here is just a dash not a whole bunch just a teeny dabble what about the pan like you gonna that. clean the pan some olive oil i don't want to treat you cast iron with respect much i don't want to overdo it i'm gonna when i start heating this up what is that what is that jar so this is it like a marshmallow jar I i'm going my, uh, partner i want to go eggs. back ham so this what is what is that it. i'm gonna when i start heating is that like a, a dog food container? I'm so confused. Why is it so old? I said I made my uh, partner. Garlic juice is the new mouthwash. It must be. Gem. I'm gonna say gem Z. That's what I'm gonna say. Is that? Did I pronounce that right? How's it going? You know, eggs and ham and egg sandwiches. So why not just take two seconds to scrub started. off yeah, the, the pan with a here. spatula? I'm gonna use the rest of these eggs. Turn this and get it ready to start is that comfy? Yeah, there. I, nah. I'm wondering how long we can get into this before we lose Chef yeah, Mike. Box in a way, I'm gonna turn it and heat the, <laughs> And I'm gonna, once I got that spread it out, I'm gonna oh, this. Oh, the whole, 
damn it, get out of here. Okay, I'm gonna throw that stick of butter the in there. The whole... And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this egg box for a second here. I'm gonna put this lid on here. I'm gonna oh get that my butter God. started to melt before I add the garlic. The whole stick. Here. And I got this cheese. How, I'm also, I'm wondering how essential that lid is right uh, now. I still had some left over. I'm thinking about adding a little bit in there. We'll really? see. Really? Oh my gosh. Thanks for your bits, always stoned. How you doing? Appreciate you. you Rolly? I wanted to add little pieces of cubed ham. I got ham in the fridge. It's not cubed ham. I guess he does have a nice set of cast iron there. Look at that. Like when I made my partner ham and egg sandwich, you know, like a deli. Like really good. Uh, are we making food here? Ham. Or are we yip yapping? I shred that up a little bit and put it in here, but I doubt it. I don't think I'm going to do that. But I plan was to, you know, use some garlic here. So, uh, we'll see, you know, once this progresses. Oh, I, I, I can't, I can't oh, listen, I can't listen to the explanation anymore. Well, I don't want any other excess in here. But... Just extra dry but, on the garlic, okay, so got we it. we got all our butter, we just hit a hint of olive oil. No. Oh, and there's... Whole, whole cloves first. Throw this whole goddamn thing in here like this. It's disgusting. And what we're going to do is just move disgusting. this around a bit. Disgusting. And we're going to start cooking this marinating it in the butter. What's the analysis, Chef Michael? Cooking go. this first. I put this lid on here. Oh. When this starts getting hotter and I'm going to have to get my uh, glove and... When does... Oven mitt glove. How, how cooked is this garlic going to get before we start adding okay, in like so the ham and stuff? Okay, so cook here for a few minutes. Get it sizzling up really good there. You can probably turn the heat up a teensy bit higher. Not too much. I don't want to I don't want to char it or anything in there, too. It's. I'm sure either way it's going to get there. There. I bought like a lot of this, so I want to use some of it up because I don't know how long it would keep. Uh, more than me and my partner can eat. I'm worried. That, this dude know, has, last we saw, he had like 20 pounds of shredded cheese in his fridge. Long in fridge. You can't get through uh, one borderline. little bag of ham now? Excuse what me is happening? Bit, so probably going to throw some shreds of ham in there. Why not? People have ham and eggs. A little bit of cheese. Freeze it, my and dude. If you want to buy that cubed ham that people use. I get it. I get it. You said that. Months. You said that. All right, we're going to get the love glove here and just check on this. What do you know about a love glove? <laughs> All right. It's, I mean, it's. I don't know why you left fragments of egg in there before all of this. There was already egg stuck to the bottom of the pan before you started melting the butter. I can only imagine that's just really a bit. I'm crisping up a at this point. Longer. I can see it's it's completely it's black on the bottom of the pan there. It's really gonna caramelize where the egg is stuck to it. Soften it up just a little bit. Okay. But I think uh, a lot of this. If you put egg in there, it's just gonna like get obliterated by the oil. You're deep frying it at this point in butter. But what we're gonna do while we're at it, I'm going to take. Some of this onion, per, uh, onion powder, minced onion. Not oh, whoa, 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 oh Take my god, some of this. Just gonna so ag everything's so aggressive. Give a few shakes. Oh, you know what? The hell with it. You know what? No, 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 come on. Really? <laughs> well, you are my favorite. More than ALR and Becky, my favorite. Really? I'm really concerned for uh, how, how much of this minced uh, onion is going in here. This dried, dried onion. Okay, uh, what do we think? What do we think? Half a cup of the onion? The rest of the bottle? Just a shake? Half the container? Half the container? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say more than half the container. Half the bottle? It's too slow, it just... There's some more okay. in okay. there. we go. I mean, compared to the garlic, that's dainty. That's dainty compared to the garlic. A little bit. That's nothing. There. You won't even taste it oh, after all the garlic. Go ahead with some of this. No, don't you dare. Another couple of minutes. Don't yeah, you dare. All right, so. Go 
gar granulated garlic. Not the granulated garlic. Hi, Psychic Lover. That's so... So buttery. Alright. That's so buttery. Cap it off and put it for another... Are we, are we still putting eggs in this? Here. I think I better lower the heat a tad. Just make it an here, omelet? Because it's going to be about time to add other ingredients here. And I haven't made up my mind if I want to get rid of some of that butter or not to see if some of it dissipates and all that. If I take to get rid you of You're going to get rid of the butter? <laughs> Why would you just add it as you need? Butter, but then the eggs are going to stick all over the pan too, so. Right, so I'm gonna. What is this? What is that cat? I'm gonna get my kitty cat phone holder. Oh, it's a phone holder. That's pretty here. funny. <laughs> Tripod? No, kitty cat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm shit around a little bit. So what we're gonna do is if, I'm gonna get my <laughs> that minced onion. It's gotta be just. It's gotta be pebbles by now, right? You, you just throw that dry into there. Smartphone holder set up. It's not like it's gonna absorb the butter, the really, right? Like it's just gonna, it's just gonna fry into a little pebble. There's gonna be apparently ham, onions, cheese, and eggs in this still. How many times does he have to say he's gonna use some of the ham? like a chef and dice it up or whatever on a cutting board but there's no acting like a chef at I'm this point I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna tear up like shreds here okay yeah Throw I mean whatever in. sure I'm gonna start scattering some of this in here just a little bit here POV sitting on the it's cat yeah it's pretty good here <laughs> a little bit of ham I wish I could see All right. So, what's going on in there? All righty then. Okay, so gonna move some of this around oh. a little bit here. Spread it around. It's so all right buttery. So it's so wet and butter. And you know, you, don't knowing me, you're probably surprised I didn't go for this earlier. Just gonna use this and. It's already in there, bro. It. I'm not going to dump it, but it's I'm going to shake It's already in. Like, uh, you can't. Crazy man, there's you know? no more garlic to be had. You need to, like, concentrate garlic to add more. I don't want to dump too much of it because I don't want to do what's, uh, I, if, what I regard as uh, overdoing it right now. Because you want a few dashes. There we go. And what the hell. I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, here comes... Not even... We don't, we don't even have the onions or the... Oh, I, maybe the... Uh, maybe the onions that he was adding was the minced onions. Okay, I guess that'll be... that. He hasn't even added the eggs yet, and he's reaching for a handful of cheese. What is happening? Take a hand, handful of this cheese. Ah, get some of that out of there. Ah, there we go. One handful for now. Just a little bit. But what, when are you gonna cook so the eggs? I don't want to do too much. Cause How are you gonna melt slightly, the cheese in there and then cook some eggs into it? Put it in there, do it some flavor. But if you want to riddle American me that, cheese, shred it in there and do it, or taco cheese or whatever the hell, you can do that too. Use that for now. And still all the butter in there? The kitty cat phone holder, put this away. Put this out of cheap. Or, uh, oh, we're getting the eggs in now. Crack them up. Throw them in. See how many it takes. Two. Because the leftovers here, too. I'm going to have some of this for breakfast. Eat it in the microwave for breakfast. Later on. Back too. on the cat. A couple Wait. of eggs in there. Let's see how that's working. Lee can't have cheese, yeah. true. He can't. Uh, the, the text readout's at 10 uh, bits or more, just saying so in case that's what you were going for. <laughs> but I'll say it. Lee can't have cheese. Eggs. Six eggs. 
Why do the garlic look like potatoes now? It might as well be, right? We'll just pretend. Yeah, I know. I don't know how many eggs you know, I should put in there. If I ask you guys how many eggs I should put in there, I guess then you guys would be just egging me on, huh? So true. So okay. true. Let's see how many we got here. Mix these around. Show you how this That gets. sounds sloppy. Couple more eggs, couple more eggs in there after the right. fact. Love that. Egg it up. Right. <laughs> How is the cheese is already in there? It's gonna take a little time to. First of all, I think you'd have better luck to stop moving it. Why don't you just let it sit for a second? Oh my god, that, that garlic is still completely whole and like appears to be like barely cooked. <laughs> um, I'm gonna add the lid on there for The garlic a, looks hardly softened. Maybe approximately a minute or two. Uh, cold pan alert. Oh, was it a cold? Try to get the heat distributed and then... He did, seem, he did seem to have it on a low heat, which I know does take a while for that pan to heat up. Okay, he did let it. Oh, oh no! He just ate a clove of garlic. Okay. I'll just eat it. Can I clean the stove anyway? That. All right. Whoa! That is not an epic flip. Unfortunately. It's almost ready. Trying to get the mix slightly darkened. King Cobra stat, yeah, maybe. Succulent morsels of these succulent morsels of deliciousness. I'm gonna need you to never say that again. Very scrumptious morsels of deliciousness. They're not scrumptious morsels of deliciousness. Or I don't know about you. But <laughs> what a breakfast! Yeah, this is this is uh, this, I can't imagine starting my day any other way. Delicious morsels of scrumptiousness. Or Scrumptious morsels of deliciousness. Why do I feel like he said that to he said that to a person before? Mm. How's it going, you scrumptious really little morsel of deliciousness? Mm. That actually hurts your lips if you do that too much. Mm. When you're really thinking this is I'll good. I'll take your word for it. Stop mixing ah, it. Stop. That. It's mush. Stop mixing it. You better. It's cooked. It's done. It's cooked Why'd you why'd you obliterate it? Give it like one flip. At this point, if I want to, I can even add it. Add a little bit more cheese. That is a I rubber should. spatula on the on the side of the pan right, there. I added just a little bit more cheese. More cheese. Stop turning it! It's, it's it's powder! It's powder! You flipped it too much! Yeah, yeah. He turned it into wet sand. Ooh. Look at this. I'm going to go ahead and just turn the heat off. Okay. Let, it, um, let this heat kind of, let this residual heat uh, do the rest. Why? Stop mixing! He's still mixing it. It's in a million pieces. It's not gonna form back together. You just have to mash it together. Tasty. All right, folks. Is that the serving plate there? Was uh, actually uh, cooking it up. What we're gonna do is a few more shakes. Please. Just to add a little bit more flavor. <laughs> no more. No more. And go mix it up a little Wait, bit. Here. Stop mixing it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
It's mixed. Yeah, yeah. It's mixed enough. Delicious and scrumptious. Yeah, let me get a fucking ladle We're gonna go ahead to get some of this out of here. Add some of this. Needs more garlic. Yeah, a lot of people do variations of stuff with eggs. They made for the partner, me and my partner. One of her favorites was uh, doing this, but mix it with hot dogs instead of garlic. I need to uh, do. Oh yeah, the classic replacement. Uh, if you don't have a, if you don't have a garlic, just use hot dogs. Perfectly fine. Just, works just as good. Do with that episode. But, yeah, and then people do it with bell peppers. My father did like an egg. Yeah, sometimes people make omelets out of different things other than garlic. See, if they want to, one could. Fun fact, you could swap out the garlic for literally anything else. Egg, uh, bell pepper, and tomato uh, dish like this. You cook up some cut up tomatoes and bell peppers and... I think you even put onions in it, but all right. I'll never understand. So the rest of this, if I don't finish it, I'll have it for breakfast. When people make scrambled eggs and they just they just never stop moving it, and then it's just a a, a pile of egg powder. Up in the microwave. And there you go. Get my uh, fork. Just have some of this. Yeah, try that. How's that? Mm -mm -mm. Tasty. Is it hunky dory? Mm -hmm. Get like, oh, no. mm. get a, a proportionate amount of garlic per forkful would be like getting three cloves of garlic and then like something else in there. If you want to, if you want to knock out that garlic Go consistently. Good. Oh, tasty and flavorific. Flavory. Well, I have a jar of olives with whole garlic cloves in my fridge. With this, oh, I love those. I, I, yeah, I could. The olives with the whole garlic clove, I could do the, a bunch of those. Delicious. Flavorific. Uh, all right. That's my flavor town here. <laughs> Your flavor town? All right. So, Send this to Guy Fieri. So, okay, He'll put it on the we menu. Come to the close of another show. The end of another. Sending love and wishing you the best. Please take care of yourself more. <laughs> oh, boy. Are you sure you used enough garlic? Was that it? Just the two com- Oh my god. Oh, is that pretty recent, like a month old, this video. Okay, hi, hi, hi. Holly, we got a show we gotta get back to. We got a show, look. I'm all set up and ready to go. We have a show. Oven baked pierogies with cheese. I was wondering what was happening in the thumbnail here. It looked like it was almost they were covered in spaghetti or something, but I see now. It appears to be covered in what looks like some cheddar cheese, and it looks like there's more cheese than pierogies, so a little a little nervous to try this video. Alright, guys, it's the show, it's the show, it's the show, it's the show, it's the asshole cooking show. Love the, the show. cooking show. Today, I'm I've seen those brands pierogies. Is that like Mist's tea or whatever, or whatever it is? Did it just a few days ago. I'm gonna make oven baked pierogies. So what I did is I had. I see some butter in a pan. Butter. I didn't record that part. I forgot to, but I put a stick of butter in the microwave about 30 seconds, and I kind of melted it because it would be hard as a brick for the stove. Instead of you have that cooking spray, I usually do. You that, do that that pan before. looks like it sticks very easily. Frozen pierogies. I love the versatility of pierogies. You could boil them. You could like fry them. You could like toast them, bake them, or whatever if you want to. For Dewey. Bitch, for Dewey. I'll have to. Br I'll. I'll let him know. About three hundred and fifty degrees. Three fifty. So butter in the bottom the pan. Fully frozen pierogies. The pierogies around for a, there's plenty of lubrication in there with the butter anyway. So what we're gonna do is see if if he used a stick of butter in this, I would I would almost not even question it. The stick of butter for like a few eggs was far too much. Never would have thought to just throw onion powder on top of the frozen pierogies. 
Also, yeah, just... is there anything to stop them from sticking to each other at this point? I really don't think so. We're going to have to see. But I would imagine they would just fuse into one giant pierogi. We are off bit. putting out that many frozen pierogies. Overdo it, but if you're, uh, I don't understand. You can dump it on, which I'm not going to. This oh, is this time. the garlic? You know, my partner's eating this too, but usually I'll put half on one side and half on the other, but if you do our, one thing about the asshole cooking you can't, show you, you We're starting to lose sight of the pierogies. If you can see over here, this one's almost completely concealed by uh, onion and garlic powder. Do on two. You want to what is going to make these not stick to each other? I don't understand. The only one eating it, just, you can dump shit loads of garlic on. But I'm going to do what I didn't do the last time I wanted to do. I'm going to take... I got a lot of this cheese left, this cheddar. I'm using it for... I'm going to make bacon wrap potatoes. I, I can't imagine how much cheese this guy goes through in a week. I got four more potatoes in my bag I want to use, so I'm just going to... Oh, we're, th that. we're throwing potatoes in there, too? For good measure? Wrap potatoes, so Hello, wow, Uma. How's it going? Side note, potato pierogies in the air fryer with a spritz of olive oil? Oh, man, that sounds great. I'd dip that in some ketchup, to be honest with you. Why not put some melted butter on top of the pierogies, or did he and I miss it? I don't think he did. Uh, maybe he will. So anyway, I'm going to just... I'm going to bake this for about, I think... Uh, I, you're going to have to cut slices out of this that's the only way it's just gonna fuse an hour but check on it in a half hour i got 350 degrees these you know what i mean by that mayo chop that's a good Put idea some cheese in here the butter will be lubricated on the bottom but so it shouldn't hurt any so i'm gonna be fairly generous with this cheese there's no plan for them not sticking really I still got more than enough to have bacon wrapped potatoes in there. Gonna do something to use up Bacon wrapped potatoes? Is that going like in this or on the side? We're having a side of bacon wrapped potatoes? <laughs> What's the deal? Okay, I get it. Yes, you're putting cheese on. Yes. Alright, guys. It's the show. It's the show. Oh, did I start it over? Oh my oh, god. My Okay, more cheese. More cheese. Alright, so I got my foil going here. What's that gonna do for you? So I don't You're making a casserole. Stove. I'm gonna throw it in the stove. Check on it in about a half hour. That's a that's a dang casserole. About an hour. Since the pierogies are still frozen, you know what I mean? Um, that might take some time. So it's preheated, so See you in about an hour. Stay tuned. Get an oven in here. An hour? He's out of here. An hour. Close I mean, I guess with that much frozen pierogies, I don't know. No, still. An hour? All right, here, the unveiling, because I kind of didn't catch it. Uh, looking a little brown towards the bottom. Could be fine. Oh. I touched them with my finger. They're soft. Touched them with my finger. They're soft. Time to serve them up. You just want them soft. Yep. So, they are good what's the done. plan? Nice we cutting into this or what? It's almost like a... Uh, an effect you get with nachos. The cheddar cheese on it. How they stick then together? Have, you can put other cheese on there. Mozzarella. I was thinking about using mozzarella. Could you? Or Colby Jack or whatever. You, or even if you want to use pepper jack. I, mean, I guess it's fine. Up, looks a little wet. Different lasagnas and all that too. I'm not really sure what the intention uh, here was. A on that stringy side, but that's almost going to be like if you're a fan of nachos and pierogies. Uh, Don't it's that's this not would be nachos. A good thing for you to have like, like yeah, if you that's just nachos anyway, wet pierogies and cheese. Is. So all right, I'll give you a 
fork in a second here. Not any so kind of like crispness to that or anything. Uh, the <laughs> the, the completely in invisible here's handoff. Yours. Thank you. And mine. Oh, here's a fork. Fork you. <laughs> They're like, you know what? Let me not. Let me not be involved in this at all. Thanks. How are you gonna serve that? How are you gonna serve that? Serve this, mine. Ugh. Look at that cheese. You're gonna, you're gonna hand that to someone <laughs> in good conscience. Yeah, just like nachos. How you could use you? Nacho cheese or whatever cheese you use for nachos. I don't like how, how floppy the pierogies look. Game. So floppy. No color to them. Awesome. Some more, can I have some more later? That's stuck. It's stuck on you. Just ripped it in half. It's stuck to the side, and you ripped it in half. I saw that. I'm gonna dig in this. So there you have it. We'll just finish this later. So start. So floppy. So this concludes this episode, this 140 episode. He throwing some like hot sauce show. on that, some ketchup, show, anything. I don't show, know. Show, I feel like that needs something, right? This has been the show. No cop. How? How am I the only one seeing this? No comments yet. <laughs> how? How? How are? Or, we're the first to discover this, or what? Like no one else is getting this. We we we're the first to stumble upon this gold mine here. What is happening? Next up, we got Connecticut beef supper. Any 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 Connecticut folks in the house? Is this a, is this a thing? Just like Ma used to make, or what? What's uh, what's the deal with the Connecticut beef supper? Suppose we'll find Boy, out. Either. But this is gonna this is gonna settle up. This is the start of the video. What is it? Is that Rice Krispies? Blue either. But this is gonna this is gonna settle out when it cooks. Because you you can do this. How is this the start of the video? What is happening? Want to, and you can not do it if you want to, but. You gotta cover up with foil wedding. There are multiple recipes on Google, so I guess it's a thing, really. Anyway, and the cheese is gonna bubble all up. Hold on, let me see. I can't see. Can I get beef supper? Mushroom soup, corn flakes, ground beef, sour cream, sharp cheddar. Okay, so I guess he's already assembled it. That's why you really should use the Rice Krispies. Just so the so the Rice Krispies are canon. Just have to this recipe. There. I don't. You don't have to completely cover it, but kind of have it a little a little bit everywhere. Okay. All right. All right. So I took my piece of foil, cut to size. Hi, Lauren. Enjoy your class. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like this. I'd rather have the shiny side down and True. the side up. I'm gonna take what a you... little film of this. No, I'm not gonna go crazy with what? it. Just hit it like real evenly. A blast. On... No. A what? blast right across. You know why? Oh, I oh, oh! Is oh, he gonna flip it? I thought he already put it on. I thought he like already had it tucked. <laughs> I was like, why would you? Why would you pam the top of it? But I see what he's saying. He's going to flip it after he sprays it. Okay. Why does it need to have a cover, though? Oh, th I have to, you remind me. I have to un-VIP Lauren after they uh, they won too many rounds of uh, of draw drawy. And I get the then in the uh, the the prize was was VIP status for a few days. <laughs> Rice crispy get too crispy uncovered. I suppose that's true. I suppose you're right. I suppose you're right. Lasagna too. You know why? Because 
so it don't stick all to the foil when you I pull Phoenix it off. Rises. I presentation put a chair together. Very nice. Good luck. This is going to not stick. It's not going to get all stuck all over, you know, when you pull it off. True. So there. It might. You don't need to saturate it like crazy, but you just need to. I'm just going to. That looks pretty good. Like it's good and covered here. I got this heated up to about 400 degrees and I got to clean up my mess while this is cooking here too. There's probably Rice Krispies I got on the floor. There's cheese I got. I'm going to take this and lift it with one hand. Oh my one God. Hand. Put it in here. So I, I'm, I'm a little annoyed you didn't uh, show the well, actual assembly an hour. of underneath. About 400 degrees, about an hour. <laughs> you know, that felt like a lot to one hand, right? Threw the stuff, the garbage away. Wash the stuff here. I wish I would have loved to see you it assemble it. A couple times to make sure. Arr, heavy, heavy, heavy. Look at that. See, here, there was some spots what am, like that. What am I that. looking at? Is that the Whoa. mushroom stew coming out? Wow. Oh my gosh. No, really. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Yeah, so I guess those white splotches are uh, the mushroom soup kind of spewing out of different areas. Where we can live with that. And then there's the cheese, and then there's the Rice Krispies, which seem to have absorbed a lot of juice and not necessarily crisped up, but maybe that's the point. And actually, you really should chill it a little bit more and cut it out in a slice. But just like lasagna, you can. Um, I don't know if it's just like lasagna. Let it cool some so you can slice it out, but always. It was mushroom soup, ground beef, and. Well, Davis. Thank you for the follow. Cyber Nico. Um, it was what? The, the, the soup, the beef, the cheese, the Rice Krispies. Was there anything else in there? What's holding this? What's holding this bad boy together? Just a bunch of beef or what? When you take your first piece, you're hot. I feel like the Rice Krispies are supposed to be put on. For the very end of cooking? Oh, yeah, maybe. Bunker, you want to eat it, you know, but then the next day it's going to cut out in nice slices. But Dinner for two. Cut it in pieces. It smells damn good. Oh, that's... I guess, I guess that's kind of holding together a little bit. You can scoop that out enough. This dish looks horrible. Yeah, it's gonna get kind of. This is probably the best looking thing this guy's made so far, which is not saying much, but uh. It's harder to take out and serve when you're like, when it's first hot, but the next day this will well, be just the I, way you do. How many lasagna, times are you gonna say it'd be better the next day? day how many you'll times? Come right out in a slice because it's been chilled. And wow. You microwave it better. I'm flabbergasted. Wow. You wait a little longer. No, really. Oh my gosh. Well, what so I do much. with the stove too is, is I up. Uh, let it power down because I don't want no, uh, I don't want no heat right in my face like that. You know, too. That's a hazardous. Condition. This guy said that stuff like this a couple of times. He seems to, as he said, he like turns off the 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 oven like early so that it cooks with the rest of the residual heat. And they did the same thing with the. Um, on the stove with like the eggs, he like turned it off. He's like, "Yeah, I'll let this kind of cook a little bit more from just the heat left over," which I've never really uh, thought to uh, do before. I'd rather I'm have consistent heat levels, but get this out. Guy's really saving every last drop of that uh, energy. Can't can't uh, can't uh, complain yeah, over go. that. Being cons he's conserving. He's conserving. Oh, that's looking slot. That's a lot of effing cheese. Holy. Yeah, dinner for two. It's a little bit. It's all the same when you eat it anyway. You're going to chew it up and swallow it and eat it anyway, but 
Like I said, when it's chilled the next day, it'll come out in a slice like lasagna got. That, that's, the the that's the fourth time. That's the fourth time, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna serve dinner for that you. looks pretty good, but I wonder how it would be yeah, the next see, day. Like at, you know, anything you take out right hot what do you think? Stove. When the cheese... It really uh, looks like all it is is just that mushroom stew. Solidifies what is holding that together? I'm so confused. Slice, not like this. And it'll be... Uh, you can microwave it. You know? It's just the way that I is. do it with iron because it retain, turns heat, it re retains good, heat so well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty a, tasty there. Too. That's the only oh, scenario I could imagine doing that. Don't be fooled by that. This tastes better than it looks like. It's like I said, when you first do your lasagna, it flops all over the place. Because anything you take out fresh and hot with cheese in it, it's going to do very that. Pale. Yeah. It's very pale. It's very pale. It looks like it could be good, but... uh. Remind you one more time, it'll solidify. You know, this is going to be meal for a whole other day even, too. All right, there's mine. See how that comes It looks out. very scary on the plate. It's very hectic. But, all right, then. This is a... Uh, Cut the cheese bowl, yeah. That's it for this Snip episode. It. You're not going to try Thank it, my dude? Chip. Come on. Oh, Any comments on the... No, how? How are we the only people seeing this? these, these videos? What is happening? You never even ran through. We put it. Yeah, I mean, this. Let me see how what it's supposed to look like. I mean, honestly, that's not too far from what you did. Okay, okay. The rice krispies definitely could have gone on later because these are looking nice and crispy still, and not just like they didn't just get absorbed into the cheese, like his did. Really into why is it? Why is it Connecticut? What is that? Yeah, it looks like just a casserole. Ooh, that looks pretty good. What is that? A little... What was it? A little hot sauce? There's some ketchup or something on top there? A little crust? That's like... Okay, see, this one is a nice crust. His was just like slop on top. <laughs> That's the sequel to Hop on Pop, uh, Slop on Top. <laughs> Oh, maybe it was potatoes. Did it say potatoes or something like that? Mushroom soup. Corn. Oh, corn flakes. Hold on. Oh, wait. But he used Rice Krispies. Okay, those are corn flakes. What's that? What is this? Potato? That's potato. That's potato right there. Ground beef. Potatoes. Creamy sauce. Okay, okay. Potatoes. Did his have potatoes in it? I don't think it did, did it? Onion, potatoes, soup, sour cream, milk. Cornflake. Wow, gosh, this is the only thing I can eat out of this is friggin' uh, potatoes, onion, and cornflakes. <laughs> That's it for me. That's deli potatoes. Okay, so what the hell did he make? Do you see potatoes uh, in his? Dinner for two. Dinner for two. Uh, dinner for a lot. All right, then. That's dinner for quite a Thanks few. For watching the show. In my show, opinion, this but uh. I guess everyone's That's different. I, I get. Oh my god! Showed it for half a freaking second. I'm not seeing potatoes. Maybe there's like at most like a couple of very small cut up potatoes in there, but I'm certainly not seeing like slices of potato. Kind of annoyed didn't show the first part of this. Lasagna, 41 minutes long. We, that should like be its own thing next time, right? I don't know if I could do 21 minutes of uh, insane chili right now. But uh, I think we should definitely get on to that eventually in honor of uh, Amberlynn, of course. Looks, hey, you know what? I gotta say, it looks uh, a little more filling than the Amberlynn wet chili. <laughs> we'll have to see at another time, maybe. All right, well, anyway, that... That was a lot to process. Thank you for that. Uh, ne maybe next time if we uh, keep watching more of this guy's stuff, we'll have to check out some of his chili. Maybe compare it to Amber Lynn's. Uh, always, always when I go to film the intros and outros, everybody. My God. But anyway, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. You can come hang on Twitch live anytime. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Willow Davis. Drop a follow there. And uh, other than that, I'll see you next time. Willow Davis out.